Hello students, Michael Sanchez here with Danny. Hi. So we just had our uh, wedding over the weekend and finally married. So what was your favorite part of the wedding? Mm, I gotta say the reception because I got to dance. All you were quite the ham out there. <laughs> Everybody saw Danny dance on the dance floor doing his, uh, what, uh, break dance? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fun. Got you on my shoulders. <laughs> I'm doing some yeah. dancing. That was fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was a great time. So, so now we're in the lessons. Back to back to work. Mm -hmm. So let me hear you do um, a scale. Let's do the uh, D major scale. Just one octave is fine. Uh, vibrato each note, and then we're going to talk a little bit about vibrato. Good. We'll stop there. All right. All right. So. What I actually noticed earlier is that uh, we're putting a little bit too much pressure down on the strings mm -hmm. to where we're kind of changing our finger angles a little bit. So like this is the way our finger angle should be, right? Our fingers are back. But if we put too much pressure down, it starts to kind of make our angles like that of the fingers when we're doing vibrato. Okay? So make sure that you're staying back. I also noticed that students when they do vibrato, sometimes they open up their hand quite a bit like this and then they kind of come back. Always want to stay close to the fingerboard, our knuckles up like this. Feels weird to have a wedding, wedding ring on. <laughs> um, so like this. So try not to do um, a lot of hand movements or change of angles with vibrato. Go ahead okay. and do that again. Without try not to vibrato. press down so hard on the fingerboard. Just a really light hand and consistent. Watch your angles. That time your angles are just perfect. Thanks. So don't let the vibrato change that. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we're going to be doing some videos today, some fun videos, some shaking videos, right? Yeah. So please stay tuned and we will see you in the next lesson.